Happy news, my lovely, wonderful people. You close the border along seven northern states because you want to go to war with Niger. Yusuf, blast Tinubu. This must come to an end. You can't continue like this. How can you close border and expect seven northern states to survive? What you are doing is totally unnecessary because you, you're so bent on going to war. This is how the North views Tinubu. And that's why Tinubu and his agents are hell-bent on ensuring that they get some of the states in the North. You know, because they know uh, going forward 2027, uh, voting, uh, that might be very, 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 very tricky. Because since Tinubu started with all the mouth, we thought that by now there would have been schemes and things that would have moved the people or moved things forward. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. You close the border along all seven northern states because you want to go to war with Niji. Yusuf Blastinubu, you can't do that. You can't. Following the daily airstrike that killed 85 persons and injured several others in Cardona State, Professor Usman Yusuf, a public affairs analyst, expressed dissatisfaction with the administration of President Tinubu and how he had brought pain on the people and the country, particularly in the North. He stated that President Tinubu has failed to address the recent bombing in Kaduna by the military, but has closed the border and has also closed the border along all seven northern states because he wants to go to war with Niger. Yusuf raised concerns about the religious composition within the military hierarchy, implying that people in influential positions may be mischievous. He called for the military to exercise caution to address the negative perception rising from this event. According to Yusuf, our people in the north are saying, well, you are killing Muslims. You are influencing a lot more pain and inflicting a lot more pain on Muslims. You close the borders along seven northern states. Hmm. Along all seven northern states because you want to go to war with Niger. You are inflicting pain on top of that. Now you are killing Muslims and look at the military hierarchy. People have been mischievous. Look at the operational military hierarchy and look at their religion. They need to be very careful and the military needs to be very careful and, st and start doing damage control fast because we, the North, we get the message. We get the message and we will respond accordingly. Tinubu does not know what he's playing or joking with at the moment, but we will respond at the appropriate time. Whatever you're doing right now, we will get back to you and we will make sure that you pay for everything you are doing to the North. Well, you just heard our brother, that is... Um, uh, Professor Yusuf, and um, he feels very strongly that Tinubu has a hand in most of the, you know, abnormalities going on. Said so Tinubu has inflicted pain on the north. You know, he's always inflicting pain on the north, thinking he can, you know, he can just get away with it. He said no, it doesn't work like that. He said Tinubu, you know, uh, the hierarchy. You know, the north has been complaining about the people that are, you know, that that are certain position. And that um, Tinubu is causing pain on the people and what have you. He said Tinubu has closed the borders and the people are currently suffering. So whether you like it or not, you know, then on top of that, we will happen in Kano. People are, people are watching. People know. People know. People know exactly what is happening. You cannot uh, take that away from them. They see. They understand what you're doing. So if you think that um, you, you can just get away with it, sorry, I'm making a huge mistake. And the people understand it. Because, you know, um, when Buhari came in and was nepotic in nature, that was why, you know, why there is so much unrest in the, in the East is part of, you know, the activities and some of the things Buhari did, you know, where he excluded the particular set from the nation. You excluded them totally. You beat a child. You said the child should not cry. And you want them to be, you, I don't understand it. Now, Tinubu has followed suit according to the North, you know, and, um, what has happened recently, they feel very strongly that, you know, Tinubu is, you know, is taking sides with, you know, with his people. And this is causing a lot of tension. The North is saying, we are watching you and we know 
you know we're, we're watching you and we know exactly what's going on okay so my lovely people don't forget that every one of us must continue to do what we need to do in order to make this country a better place every one of us must arise and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again what's happening today and what's happening now is people feel you know very very you know uncomfortable with how Tinubu's government has been so far and it's not their fault to a large extent it's not their fault it has become imperative that every one of us see things for what they really are and begin to apply you know the right measures in ensuring that this country turns a better leave and things become better you know most of the things that are going on right now it is as a result of you know some of the activities you know of of some people who feel that they are the one they are the deciding factor of what happens to nigerians and if they you know if they continue in the same way and the same you know minds that they are continuing and doing what they are doing this country may we may not have a country tomorrow mm -hmm. because uh, we have seen you know so many issues going on you know and um, we we know exactly how things are and uh, whether you like it or not you'll be surprised you know so the north is accusing tinubu of all his disposition you know the north is accusing tinubu saying tinubu is part and parcel you know uh uh of what what um, you know the people have been facing and if tinubu really wants if tinubu really wants to see things get better tinubu really wants to see nigeria becomes a better place he will need to carry people along okay he will need to he will need to carry people along so whether you like it or not we all need to make sure that things change quite quickly and rapidly carrying you know include including people will go a long way rather than leaving things to chance and assuming that everything will just fall in place just like that it is important that we do not allow the same thing over and over again every one of us knows exactly what is happening and we need we need to ensure that we do everything needed and necessary in order to change the course of what has been going on nigeria is our country and whatever we do let's not forget that there is a day called the day of reckoning and whatever every man does he will pay for it it's only a matter of time he will definitely pay for it so we need to be careful we need to be very very careful leave us a comment don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day from us is bye for now